What's up, collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, collective, this is a general reading. And I know that somebody is out there pointing the finger at you, but you still in your own little bubble. You still have everybody locked out of your own little bubble. Okay, you're healing. Mm -hmm. You can shut some people out. I see some of you may be, you may smoke hookahs, if I'm saying it right. You may uh, smoke weed. Whatever it is, you ain't sharing. All right? Yeah, you're, you're, you're like um, self-indulging, healing, doing, doing you. Okay. I guess we want all these cars to keep falling out like that. See, this is the bougie car. This is someone walking with spirit with three spirits. The Father, the Son, and the Holy and the Holy Spirit. Okay? Some people may say you're bougie, but you're not. You're just not trying to be tangled up in a situation. Somebody wanted you to be tangled up in some shit. And you're healing, and by you healing, you are um, you're tightening up that crown chakra. You're healing that crown chakra because it was somebody out there that was leaving you hanging. And yeah, and you said time's up. Mm -hmm. You ain't wasting no more time on this person. You're not dealing with this person because you have some sort of gift, some sort of talent. You're gifted, you may read cards, you may play instruments, you may um, something, you may do hair, you may be a makeup artist. Um, something that you do that this person was sent into your life to stop you. Okay? Because whatever it is, the gift that you have, that God gives you, that gift is a gift for you to prosper. That gift is for you to make money off of that gift. Not to swindle people. That gift is going to come to you. That gift is in you to where people is, is going to want to pay you for whatever it is that you do. Whether it's art, they'll buy your art. Whether it's music, they'll buy your music. Uh, whether it's something you teach, they'll pay for you to teach them. Okay, you have some sort of gift. And I feel like some of you, it has something to do with playing some sort of instrument. Now, like I said, when I see this card, this is... Somebody, you may have created some instrument, invented some sort of instrument, okay? And you have somebody around you that say, man, homie, you look foolish playing that motherfucker. You look stupid playing What is that dumb damn thing you playing? What is that damn dumb thing you playing? That's a karmic. Because a real friend of a person that's from divine, instead of them talking about it, they'll be trying to get interested in it. They'll be asking questions, asking you to teach them. They want to learn. They want to know. Those are the people you need around you. Not no motherfucker that's going to have you try to get you tied up in some shit that you don't know about. Because that's what this energy is, too. Somebody trying to tangle you up in something. And all you got to do is reach, just move your hands. See them, them, them goddamn ribbons ain't, ain't tight. All you really got to do is stand the fuck up or reach over to the right, right there and grab that sword and cut your ass up out of that situation. Okay. Yeah. So you also, now see the person. You're, you're walking bougie past. You're not talking to them. This person left you hanging. Sometime when you would be asleep, this person would sneak out. Mm -hmm. You started, you, this is why you need to use your intuition. Mm -hmm. That's the only two I needed. It was two cards. You came out before. Now, for some of you out here, it's a situation with some money. You could be a trust fund baby. 
and you don't know it. You have a hidden trust. Now, I don't know who that's for. But it's, 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 you may not know who you are, but they know. And I don't know who they are. But they know. Mm, emergency, emergency. Mm. I don't even like to, to hear things when, when you hear the emergency. 911. Somebody wants your cloud, your judgment to be clouded. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants you to feel trapped or entangled in the situation. Mm -hmm. And it has something to do with the hidden trust fund. Wow. Somebody is continuously having you hanging in the situation. But spirit is saying time's up. And you didn't say time's up too. Either you or spirit has said time's up. They want you to rest. You've been been kept hanging too long. Somebody has a um, star tattoo, a tattoo of a star on their face, or star tattoos. And I see. Um, some of you may look need to look up the number 444, the angel number 444. Type it in on YouTube, okay? This is an a energy of a female. Now, it can be a male. Okay, the roles can be reversed. But this is basically... Uh, energy that likes to be a side chick. They like one night stand type of shit. They meet men in bars and you know they break up relationships. Um, it's basically a, a devil energy. Okay? Toxic. And you've probably been stressing and thinking about this person. Let me find out. I'm just going to pause. What is, what's going on with this? Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to energetically go into my channel. Okay. Okay, spirit. Show me the energy of this barfly energy. This barfly could uh, like to wear red, or you could like to wear red. This uh, this card, I see, it comes in different things. So whatever it is, I see at that time. And this is a barfly, but she's also right next to. protection from all four directions north south east and west your angels are protecting you now this could be you or this could be somebody in your energy you have to take it where it resonates some of you may just like to wear red and somebody is coming to tell you something somebody is coming to tell you okay this could be you wearing you love christmas Santa claus type of shit. But you see how she got that carnation in her hand? Um, look at that little bird flying to her. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be coming to tell you something to try to get you trapped up in some shit. Okay? I, I see this right here. This is entrapment. This is tangled up. This is keeping you hanging. Okay. 
still like sitting around waiting. Like this is a snake energy coming to target you. You're that apple. You're that temptation. And see, this person could be in the, the mode of trying to have you a little monkey on their string. Following you or watching you or wanting you following them and watching them. Yeah, these, these doors in this hotel is, is um, you got to shut them real hard. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, some of you are hidden trust fund babies and you have a gift. Okay. You have a special gift or a talent and you got somebody out there. You're not in despair. Somebody either lost their job, left their job, you could have left your job and, and, and transferred, what do they call it, um, <clears throat> you teleported, no, you didn't teleport, but some of you may be at your same company and they sent you another city, another state um, to run some shit, or some of you may have quit your job to start your own business in another city or another state. Give me one more for the occupation on the first. Or the person you was dealing with ain't working on himself, or you could be not working on a relationship with someone no more. If you're not in a relationship, you could be moving forward on your own. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be taking a cruise. Yeah, someone is going on a trip. This is the occupation, and, and it's, this is movement, travel. Somebody is traveling, and it has to do with your job. Either you quit your job and you move into another, you could have got a better offer. I see March 4th out here. I see April 2nd. And I see March 9th. Yeah, somebody is moving. And somebody is moving uh, to another city or another state. Change out here. Your bags is packed. Your bags is already in your vehicle ready to go. And you ain't telling nobody. You moving in silence. And if this is not going on, you done already did it. <laughs> nobody knows where you are. Nobody at your job. If somebody come look for you, if... If you left your job, if some of you, you just left your job, you didn't go to another job, or you retired or something, you quit your job, um, you ain't, you're not with nobody, yeah. Some of you, this is for the single ones. You single, you single feminines and masculines, you, some of you quit your job or retired, and you moved, you traveled somewhere, Okay. You're not some. Um, you're not intimate with nobody. Therefore, you didn't have to tell nobody where you was going. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, oh, a secret relationship. <laughs> but you ain't having sex. Oh, collective, a secret relationship. But them lovers is in reverse. Ooh, collective. Ooh, collective. Okay, so some of you
Now, if you're taking a trip and you, somebody is, is, somebody is taking a trip. You're secretly going to see somebody. You're not telling nobody. You're moving. Until you got to get some more information and see if this trip is safe. Is this trip, is this move safe for the collective Holy Spirit? Is this move safe for the collective? Ooh, somebody thinking about you. And, but when I look at his face, look, what does his face look like? What do his face look like? Do he look like he got some, what is, what is, how is he looking at that woman? He's, is he thinking of painting her a picture of art? But really look at the expression on his face. See, this is how people got fooled with the picture of Jesus Christ. Look at his face. That could be you. He's painting a picture of you or he's thinking of you. But them, them, that don't look like no. It looked like a, he's, he's, he's negative. Like he can cheat you. He can play you. This could be an artist you're dealing with. He could, this person could paint the perfect picture. You take that how it resonates. I'm not talking about actual art. This person can paint the perfect picture of something. You're not intimate with this person. What is this person thinking about? Tell me what is this person at the collective? Is this is a pregnancy or a new beginning with you. But then the wishing well came out in reverse. You're not his wish come true. Secretly, you're not his wish come true. Ooh, collective. This person is thinking of how to get you pregnant. And not marry you. I feel like this is some sort of long distance relationship. You heard the bird? Mm -hmm. This is a long distance relationship. And this person is, is. Give me more about this person. Somebody's trying to. They're thinking about how they can. Yeah. It's keeping you hanging here. They, and, and it's like, this came out reverse. They don't want you to walk with spirit. So if they can have you focused on what they doing and why they keeping you hanging, the more you're trying to figure out, you're not going to focus on yourself. And you won't prosper. I don't know, baby. Now, if you're moving away, that's good. And, um, well, now, nah. well, now. Nah. Open the window because I got to smoke a cigarette. Um, Y'all hold on. Okay. This is getting a little too juicy. I have to light a cigarette, y'all. But, um, oh, whoever you are, I can't tell you not to go. I can advise you because this is for those of you, if you're planning on taking a trip towards somebody, 
and you're planning on not telling nobody you want it to be a secret or they want you to be a secret this person is thinking about either your new beginnings they're thinking This is a twisted motherfucker that ain't got no job. Now, for some of you, this person is thinking of ways that they can get you pregnant and not marry you. Some of you, this person is thinking of ways they can be with you, but not in be intimate with you and not marry you, but just string you along. Not tell nobody about you. Keep you a fucking secret. And you're moving, going there. Is that what you want to do? I'm, I'm going. I'm going a little further. I can't let my nieces and nephews out there go in something blind. I'm telling you what's coming towards you. Now you could have already been through this, and maybe I'm too late. This could be. You could be planning to leave today. But I'm telling you, somebody is planning on, look what's on the bottom of the motherfucking bed. A broken heart. The house in reverse. And look, here's the pathway that you're supposed to be going down. But this person came into your life to anchor you down. And you're not going to have no good luck, baby. This person, they're treating you. I'm telling you, because with, with this card upright, this means this is somebody rare. Or leaf clover is very rare. Okay? This person was nicer to you than anybody you ever met. Sweeter. They did everything different, more than anybody else have ever did for you. Now in reverse, that means this person did this. Now they're going to switch up and they're going to do you worse than anybody has ever did you. Okay? And you're traveling out there to them. You better think about that. You better buy your own, your own personal cards. And, and uh, I don't suggest you get no tarot. I suggest you get some oracle cards. Cards with words on them. Before you take this trip. Did you see that circle? Look, another one. I wasn't even trying to do that. When I try to do it, I can't do it. So what I just do that? Look. So, some of you, you're going to go down there. This person is not going to marry you. They're just going to anchor you down. You'll be the one being the, the anchor of the, holding the relationship together. Holding it down. He'll be calling you his bottom bitch or something. Be careful, ladies. Okay? Spirit wants you to, to pay attention to the red flags. Now, this is my messy deck. Now, again, please keep in mind... This reading may not resonate with your energy. It may be bits and pieces. It may not be your energy. It could be your uh, your person's energy. It could be the roles can be reversed. It can be uh, your neighbor. It can be your coworker going through this. Spirit is saying it's time to evolve and upgrade. It's time. Okay. <laughs> And for some of you, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not, um, and have, have fun in the sun, happiness, joy, and stability. Success. Abundance. Okay. Because somebody is trying to get you tied up in a situation, not have sex with you. This is some narcissistic shit. Secretly, you inspire this person.
How many more skills? Yeah, this person is is they're they're trying they're, they're gonna try to string you along. For those of you if you're trying to sneak off and go see somebody, they're they probably telling you shit like don't tell nobody. I'm not gonna tell nobody either. Yeah, because they 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 probably married. Or they they they're just keeping you a secret. And this is just a way to throw you off your path so you won't be on that, that spiritual journey you're supposed to be on. Watch your energy. Watch your surroundings. Somebody is stalking you. And you need to get yourself a uh, amethyst. I done twisted my, my thing up so bad I can't. I gotta take this off and get another one. But you get your amethyst and a black obsidian. Okay. You're dealing and you're around a bunch of different people. They carry in toxic energies that they're not aware of. But you can be aware of. Let them have the last word. Past karmic energies trying to reconcile. Low vibrations, drinking drugs and paying prostitutes. Walking away from the drama. I thought that I broke you mentally. So, this person, if they're narcissists, they wasn't being intimate with you. They just kept leaving you hanging. You guys wasn't having intimacy or anything. They would start an argument with you and walk out the door. Leave for some hours, days, weeks, months. And they even said some real foul shit to you. And they, when they come back, they say some sexual shit to you on the phone or something. Get your panties on, wet. You get, mm -hmm. Can I come over? Can I come back? You better back. And they come and this, this, what they've been doing. Okay. You walking away. You walked away. Some of you are walking away now, and some of you have walked away. You see, this person thought that they broke you mentally. Okay? And for some of you, this is a karmic, and they're trying to come back to reconcile with you. Mm -hmm. But let them have the last word. Like I said, they said some real messed up stuff. And they usually do this shit and talk crazy to you and come back and you let them back. Stop that shit. Cut it off. And then when they come to, they don't want, what did I say? Well, what did I do this time? It's what you've been doing every time. And that's it. Leave it at that. Don't explain shit to them. Because if you explain it to them, they're going to still go on and do what they did again and try to stumble over and all of that shit. No, let that shit go. It's not up to you to, to remind them what the fuck they're doing when they're drunk or what they're doing when they, whatever it is that they do and make them want to get up and leave and argue at you. That ain't your business. Your business is not allowing them back to come and step back in your life and walk all over you like, like you the fucking door. Come in when, they, when you want to. They treat you like not only the motherfucking doormat, they treat you like the motherfucking front door. They treat you like the back door. They treat you like the window. Opening and shutting your front door. Opening and shutting your windows. Up and opening and closing your, your fucking blinds. But they thought they broke you mentally. Are you gonna allow it? Tell me more, spirit. Quickly and smoke a blunt. Y'all know usually I would light up with my son. I'm smoking. We in this room, so I, I, I have to pass it. But you go and smoke. Light it up. Okay. I'm already high anyway. I smoke in the bathroom. 
the person you're dealing with has a big ego, big pride, big spender type of energy. The person that looks down on others. Okay. You told this person I could have did it on my own. So pick up your feelings and move on. Somebody had a miscarriage or an abortion. There's a fear of commitment out here and they will never change. Okay, because this person has never been in love before. And now you're ignoring their calls. Because mm -hmm. you realize that they're karmic energy and you're not trying to be dealing with no karmic energy. Mm -hmm. You reclaimed your time, just like Jasmine and Sullivan. Some of you was dealing with somebody, they hid the fact that they was racist. That they're a different race from you. Or their family is racist. Something, something or somebody is racist. Okay. Okay. We also have stop crying over spilled milk. Kick the carton out of the way and move the fuck on. You're having sunshine and joy. You happy. This person crying over spilled milk. They're going to be coming to you, you know, talking shit to you or trying to get back with you. But see, they could have had a, a, a feminine energy that's around them. They wanted them to do all of this to you. They wanted them to, you know, reject you and act all funky towards you. And you need to heal from that. Because this person is a master manipulator. And Spirit is saying for you to be aware of the mind games. And see, since some of you have been aware of the mind games, this person is bitter because you don't need them no more. Mm -hmm. And they sold their soul. So now that you're not talking to them, they're recruiting haters to jump on their little hater train. Mm-hmm. Smart ass mouth. This person's name could be Blake, Billy, Bobby. You could have called them your best friend. Something with a bicycle, busted. Could have busted them cheating. They could, you could have found out they got a baby and you balanced yourself out. And now this person is getting carnal and they're telling you they love you forever, but they don't. If they're giving you some sort of gift, I, I suggest that you check that gift, okay? Because it could have some sort of attachment to it, okay? See, this person is trying to rape your time, but you're no longer allowing them to do that. Meaning, they're trying to waste your time. You're not spending time with them, answering their calls, running on them. You're not depending on their time, their energy, their love, their money, and nothing. You focused on yourself. Mm -hmm. So now this person is saying, my ex done black magic on me. Now I'm cleansing my energy from their space. Okay, But see, now you're taking action and they're scared because... You've been letting them come back and forth, back and forth, get mad and say what they're going to say and walk out the door. Mm -hmm, you ain't doing that. Now they're trying to offer. And for some of you, this person has somebody out there that told them they was pregnant just to break y'all up. Yeah, when you found this out, you just like, you leave. Don't you forget to pick up your feelings. Mm -hmm. And they gave them a tower moment. Mm -hmm. And some nosy ass motherfuckers around you, too. Yeah. See you chilling and relaxing, taking a vacation. And this person's saying, I can be your king if you let me, but they can't. Okay, because you ain't letting them. Because you told this person, I don't want to be number one. I want to be the only one, period. You told them, hell no, no, no. So you must put some salt around your doors and your windows. Okay, to keep that negative energy, projection of negative energy, shit being thrown towards you. Okay, you put this person in spiritual prison, in emotional prison, and you divorce them. Mm-hmm. Yep. And for, believe it or not, for some of you, this is your soulmate. Now, this is a karmic soulmate. You mm -hmm. that had a hidden agenda. Like I said, they came to, to sabotage your life. Spread rumors and trying to blackmail you, but you see right through their lying ass. Some of you, this is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and has fuckboy energy. It's immature in between jobs, and this person hasn't come out the closet. You got birds of a feather flock together. Be wise with who you deal with. This person, I chose a third party over you. I now realize that I made a big mistake. What do I need to do to make things right? But you like, fuck them haters. Fuck them, fuck them. When this person tried to take you down, you got the last laugh. Mm -hmm. and somebody has a weakness for the same sex. And you've been there and done that, okay? You ain't had the weakness for the same sex, but you're doing great things in your life. You've been there and done that with them. This person has multiple partners. And you're doing great things in your life like you're balling. And they had the key to your heart. And now, you're, you're being guided and your ancestors are watching over you while this person is feeling trapped. Because jealousy, evil eye protection is needed for this evil eye and jealousy. Because this person is going to be reaching out to you soon. 
and they can say things to you over the phone and get in your head. So you get you an amethyst, okay? You get you a uh, black obsidian. So this person can't put no, no, no nothing up in your head. You spitting shit in your ear. You know, like when you watch the cartoons, them little cartoon program things, and they have the people talking and the words is flowing out of their mouth. Yeah, that shit is real. Okay? So you got to block them words. You got to be able to, you know, blow them words away. Negative shit that people's going through. Now, all the good words that say in abundance, wealth, and happiness, joy, peace, and prosperity. Yeah, you suck all them words in. But all of that negative shit, fights, and chaos, and baby daddy, and baby mama drama, and all of that extra shit, busting out windows, you, you, you block that shit. Okay? You don't want to be with nobody like that, and you don't want to be like that. And if you are feminine out there, I busted a couple windows. I busted a couple headlights. What the fuck? What the fuck that do? I didn't have to do all that to let him know I was mad. I could have just said, I'm mad at you and I don't want to deal with you. But no, I had to be in a karmic energy. So get out of that karmic energy. Stop busting the windows. Let the motherfucker go. The more mad at you is, that's making him think that him or she, him or her, think that they shit is the bomb. If you don't react over them, oh, they ain't going to fight over me. They ain't going to fight over me. Hell, let me just fuck you. No, don't cry over them. You making them think they the shit. We laugh at them crying. Y'all hear the birds, right? You hear them birds? I want you to tell me what them birds is saying. Okay? What are the birds saying? What is the bird saying? Just put it in the comments. I just want to see the comments. What the birds say. When it comes to the situation. Birds bring messages. What do you hear when you listen to the birds? I'm going to let you listen. What do you hear? What what When you're listening to these birds chirping. Just listen. What is the thought that comes in your mind? And I'm not talking about no smart ass, sexual or stupid, none of that. I'm serious. What do you hear when you hear a verse chirping? Listen to your, I'm, I'm trying to teach you. Listen to your mind, your third eye. What is it saying? What are the birds saying? What are they saying to you? I'll wait. What are the birds saying? They got to be saying something good. Pay attention. When you hear birds and you're sitting outside, prime example, we, we just gonna listen to these birds for a minute. Now, this is how I get messages. I don't know or not if you can hear the traffic, okay? And I hear the birds. Knock it off. I heard somebody saying the birds are saying for you to put that cigarette out. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> I heard somebody say that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you get you, you got me on that. You got me. Um What is spirit telling you? See, a lot of you out there, you never have time to yourself to listen to God the Most High, to listen to your inner self. Get to know yourself. Stop going around asking people for directions because they're going to lead you the wrong way each and every time. Why? Because you're chosen and they're jealous of you. Whether it's your family member, if you're the chosen one in your family, of course they're not going to give you good advice. They want you to be 
toxic like them. Okay. I'm gonna move these cards. Put it all in the comments. What the what are the what is fear saying to you? What is your higher self telling you about the person that you're thinking about? Are you happy? Have you left them? Have you healed? If you haven't healed, you need to get a green adventure. Okay? And a yellow adventure. Okay, get those two. The green will mend your broken heart. Okay, it'll balance your broken heart. The yellow adventuring will bring you happiness, joy, just light. Okay, make you happy. You know, you happy. And get you a amethyst. So you can see what this person is doing to you. So you can see if they're dealing with somebody else. If you can, so you can see the secrets that they're hiding from you. That that's um why they're why they have you hanging. You're so you can see. So you can see how they're trying to keep you anchored down. So you can see before they break your heart. Do not Do not, okay, I'm, I'm not going to say don't take this trip, but this is what I'm going to tell you to do. Tell somebody. Don't go to another city or state and not tell nobody. Somebody. And if you're not dealing with your family, you may not want to tell them because you feel like they're going to wish bad anyway, so you don't tell them. Tell somebody. Even if you have to walk into a church, walk into some business and, um, I don't know, I've never even thought of this, but this is what I'm being led to tell you. Go in some business or something. And give them your name. And tell one person in that business where you're going, when you're supposed to be returning, and if you don't return on that day, or they don't hear from you, make some some pre-arrangements before you jump off and do this. Because somebody's heart will get broken. You will quit your job. Don't you do that. Who the fuck is that? I, ooh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I hope my son got his earphones on. Oh, excuse me. Um, somebody is quitting their job now. In the beginning, I said somebody, you know, you're you're like, I'm thinking you're transferring into another job. But no, this is somebody quitting their job, and you will go somewhere and pack up and leave your house what the fuck oh spirit say you need to use your crown chakra you need to open up you need to see some shit mm, you're gonna go towards this person oh and they're gonna they're gonna be leaving you there by yourself and you don't know nothing about this place where you're traveling to baby don't do that oh i don't want to tell you but if if you was my niece or my family, and I seen this, I would be telling them. Now, I don't know who this for, but you're going to go out there, you ain't going to get no loving. And this person, I'm telling you, they were sent to you by the devil to stop your, your whatever it is that you do, your creativity, your skill. They are thinking of ways to stop you. Because you have a new beginning. And some of you, some of you, they're thinking of how they can get you pregnant and get you out there. And then you're going to be stuck. And see, they could be dealing with a Queen of Wands energy in reverse. 
and leave you hanging for this person. And see, this is this is birds of a feather flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. And 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 nobody see you'll you'll go out there and see this bird, this bird is oh Lord Jesus, this bird is is flying in to tell somebody, tell them something, and these other birds it's like we don't want to hear that. You don't want to, you don't, mm. this is a premiere. You don't want to go out there. Mm. Ooh, you'll be somebody's secret. This is some, ooh. Somebody, somebody will get their heart broken. This is what I'm feeling, please. I got to get some advice. I'm going straight to my angel bed. I got to get messages from the angels on this. Because, um... some advice for my collective that's going on this trip um, that's leaving going somewhere leaving it's like somebody is leaving their house their job it's like you didn't put everything down to go towards somebody and just like he didn't even show up in the, in the reading this person didn't show up it just showed up his energy of him keeping you handy Somebody, somebody likes the color red. Somebody likes to wear red. Okay, so Holy Spirit. No perception. You're not going to be free when you're around this person. They're going to, it's with the, the smile now, cry later, energy. This person, one minute they'll be making you laugh and happy, and then the next minute you'll be sad and crying. Mm. Mm. I hate, I hate that. I don't like this reading collected, but I got to tell you. Okay, what else, Spirit? What else? What else is the message for the collective going towards something blinding? What is it that they need to be aware of about this person that they're going towards or they're thinking about? Or this could be the opposite. This person could be coming towards you, moving to your city. It could be the total opposite. Okay. Everything I said can be, the roles can be reversed. It could be you going through the opposite role or him going through the opposite roles. Take it where it resonates. Beauty in reverse. This person is not, they're, they're, they're not going to treat you like the beautiful soul that you are. They're not gonna do that. And some of you, oh, some of you, when you get this person, they ain't gonna like spirituality. If they, if you, if you presented that to them, or maybe you shouldn't present it to them. Don't tell them. Because when, when people know that you're on a spiritual journey, if they if they 
if they don't know, a spirit that has attached to them knows. And they will try to slow you down. Keep you hanging. Keep you tied up in some shit. Put you in, in Venus flytrap energy. And spirit wants you to be aware of these energies. If you know you have a gift or a talent. And you're going towards somebody else. Just remember what auntie told you. Okay. That person. Is coming. To slow you down. They're coming. To sabotage that gift. That's supposed to be making you money. Now, do I need to get my belt? Because some of my nieces and nephews out there are talented than a motherfucker. And I'm going to pull some cards on them. And y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please hit that thumbs up. I'm on a little bitty table, so I gotta move these cards. Clear these up. What are the birds saying? few out here so I won't get won't lose track of what um these messages are about because once the cards is gone I can't remember all of this shit. Not like that, but you know well the energy is shit. Okay, so spirit show me what some of these divine energies out here why were this, now what I'm about to pull from this deck is going to show me some of the energies that some of you carry that's in you. And you have somebody in your life that came to destroy that. Because whatever it is, it's going to make you money. Okay? A lot of you work with your hands. Whether it's helping people, playing an instrument, painting something, sculpting something. Uh, just something you do with your hands. You may have healing hands. Okay. Okay, Spirit, show me some of the energies of the collective. Show me some of the energies of the collective. Okay. I found this on the web for show me some of the energy. Check it out. Every time, every time when I say spirit, you think I'm calling Siri. Okay, so show me the energy surrounding the collective. Show me the energies surrounding the collective. Show me the energies that's 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 that is the collective. Show me their beautiful spirits. Okay, I, I, some of you. You're just a natural healer. Okay. You're there for everybody. But where are they for you? Okay. Some of you made this purple out here. So, like I said, some of you need to wear amethyst around your neck. Okay. Or a bracelet. And I see some of you can swim real good. Somebody is a swimmer. Somebody is a has has medals or crowns or something for swimming. Okay. 
got streaks in her hair. Cross country swimming or something. Somebody's bathing suit is red. And you the queen, goddammit. <laughs> Okay. Some of you have a twin. I see somebody got uh, a tattoo over their eyebrow, some dots over their eyebrow. She wears lashes, false lashes, or you have long eyelashes and you wear Mascara to make them motherfuckers full. Some of you are psychics. Some of you have just went through this transformation. And, and you recently purchased a red jasper, a jasper stone. And it something, something changed when you got that stone. Put it in the comments for me. And if, if, if you're a swimmer and you have medals or something for a swim champion or swimming cross country, it don't have to be cross country, but you can swim against different states or something, put it in the comments. If you know you're a psychic, you connect with, with nature, you love butterflies. Somebody loves flowers. I mean, you guys, I, I see all the love out here of nature. Okay, come in my spirit. So some of you need a, a, a purple amethyst. Some of you need a green adventuring. The swimmer needs a green adventuring. Maybe your heart was broken. Yeah, the one who's the swimmer. Maybe you had to stop. Swimming. Somebody could have did something with some of your images or something in a bathing suit and made you want to stop swimming. Somebody that's a swimmer has watery eyes. I don't know how to explain it. I have watery eyes. And when I was younger, um, my friends always thought I was crying. I didn't walk around with just tears coming out of my eyes, but my eyes were always glossy. And right now today, you know, they still like that. Somebody else's eyes is glossy and watery. Alive. It doesn't mean you're crying. You just have glossy eyes. You don't wear, you don't wear, a lot of this thing why you don't wear the fake lashes because you swim. But your natural lashes are, are you know, they're, they're pretty long. Your eyebrows are thin and you have streaks in your hair. And that's for the person who's the swim. And some of you may have a twin. Somebody likes flowers. Um, I can't think of the name of these flowers, but they're, they're white. And they have the different colors on the insides of the petals. And they grow probably like that tall from the ground. They don't grow real big. Somebody's bedroom is is, um, is red and pink. Pink and red. With butterflies. Or a room in your house is pink and red. It could be your bathroom. Because I do see somebody that wears a red... The one who's the psyche, you like red, okay? And you you wear um, a lot of red. You have a red bathrobe. Yeah, you surrendered. You either just previously purchased yourself a red jasper or you need to purchase one. Because something you've been through, you survived. And it took you through a whole transformation. What else, Spirit? All 
good things are wild and free. Freaking beautiful. Priority of purpose. Love is everything. So some of you, you're on a spiritual journey and you're you're the wild and free. Some of you are not attached, you're not married. Confirmation. Okay. You're not married. And you're saying it's better to be absolute, absolutely ridiculously. It's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be absolutely born. And you're wild and free. And you're freaking beautiful. Okay? You may like bunny ears or you, you, you may be wearing a mask or something. You're wearing some sort of mask. Okay? That could be that secret. You're secretly going somewhere. Someone has um, long red hair. I call that mermaid hair. Somebody has long red hair. It could have some little streaks of gold or blonde in it. It could be Indian. I see a lot of streaks. I see streaks with black and burgundy. If you got the black and burgundy streaks, put it in the comments. If you got some black and blue streaks, put it in the comments. If you have some black and like a burnt orange color streaks, put it in the comments and you like purple. If you have some red and like the gold color streaks, put it in the comments. And I even see some, some blue, blue streaks. Blue and black and gold. Blue, black, and blonde streaks. You ladies, y'all love the streaks. I couldn't streak my hair. I dyed it recently, though. Okay. Some of you may, oh, some of you are hairstylists. You do hair. Okay. Some of you do hair. And that's and you're gifted with it. You have a talent. If you have a talent for doing hair, put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. Daughter of the Sacred Heart. Every saint has a past. Every saint has a future. So everyone has a past and everyone has a future. So what you did in the past, you may feel like it, it may reflect everything that you do in your future. But if it's something that you did in your past that's bad, you can, you can make it good. Okay? You don't have to continue down that path doing some badass shit. All right? So, I'm going to stop this reading right here because it's been over an hour. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Peace.